Welcome back friends. I am excited to show you guys a few different things I have going on um, this week in my house. I'm going to do a large grocery haul and I have to make some candles. I'm also working on a different soap recipe, meals, just all of the things. And I decided to take my camera around and share it all with you guys. So I just got home from the grocery store and I thought before I put everything away I would kind of lay it out here on the table and show you the different things that I purchased. I know everyone loves to see a grocery haul, especially for a large family. I love looking at grocery hauls and so as annoying as it is, <laughs> I'm going to first lay everything out here. Actually it's not really that annoying, it's nice to organize it before I put it away because then I can decide which things are going where because I do have a big deep freezer downstairs where I like to put um, some of my frozen things and then also you know obviously a couple different pantry areas and so this actually makes putting it away easier and you'll see as I'm putting this away that I actually end up doing a lot of organizing as well. Now for me, this is a fairly large grocery haul and this will last us for a very long time. If you have been around my channel for a while, you know that we get the bulk of the food that we consume from local farmers. And so all of my meat comes from my sister. We get all of our milk from a local dairy farm. We get eggs from our chickens and from my sister's chickens. and so. When I go to the grocery store, it's a lot of condiments and frozen fruits and veggies and kind of those types of things, snacky things. You see I had some cheesecakes there. That's just for a special snack for me and my husband at nighttime. Coffee, um, pasta sauce, salsa, lots of different spices, a ton of mustard and mayonnaise and honey and maple syrup. Now we, a lot of times, get maple syrup from my neighbors who have a really big maple farm, but they are out for the season and so I had to stock up with some maple syrup. And so these are the kinds of things that I end up having to buy at the grocery store. Now when we get into the summer months, we'll be able to grow a lot of our own fruits and vegetables, but for right now, these are the things that I have to buy. So I'm taking all of our frozen vegetables downstairs and putting them in my deep freezer. You'll see I actually have some space in here. Um, we still have quite a bit of mousse to get through. Um, that's what's on that shelf there on the bottom shelf. And on the top is just a little bit of pork. And we just ordered a half of a steer from my sister. And so that'll be coming soon to the freezer. But for now, we have ample space, which is not normal. Okay, so now on to the things that go in the refrigerator. I got a bunch of butter, cream cheese, cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese, lots of that kind of stuff. My daughter has some different recipes that she's wanting to do and sometimes she adds things to my list. That's what the cream cheese is for. And then she also wanted orange juice for something. And as I was going in here to put things away, I realized that, you know, when the fridge is somewhat empty, this would be a good time to clean it out. So I emptied off a bunch of the shelves. I'm just wiping them down, getting them clean. And then this will be easier to kind of organize the things that I bought and the things that are still in here. As you can see, there isn't too much in here other than some like condiments in the door, um, a bunch of eggs, and then I always have lard or bacon grease in my refrigerator for frying. And now I'm just going to start puzzling everything back into the refrigerator. Thank you. 
we eat a lot of cheese. I need to place another Azure standard order and get some more of the raw cheddar cheese. But while I wait, I am just going to use this cheese from Aldi. Now I also got some more onions and so I'm cleaning out my onion drawer before I put new ones in. This is something that I like to do, um, you know, every little bit because it gets so messy in there with all of the onion skins and I like to put the ones that are new on the bottom and then the ones that are older on the top. And I know you don't have to store onions in the refrigerator and that they can be stored out. This is just the way that I do it. And I don't know, the, it's how I've always done it. Maybe it's the way my mom does it and that's how I learned it, but it's the best space for me to put them. Now, I also got a bunch of taco toppings because we are gonna be having like tacos and nachos this week. Um, probably more than once. I love making up a bunch of like ground taco meat. And then as long as I have all of the toppings, it makes for a bunch of easy meals. And so lettuce, tomatoes, cilantro, you saw I had some sour cream, salsa, and that'll just make a bunch of easy meals this week. I don't really know how, but we've accumulated a bunch of random like condiments and things that I don't even always have. Um, so organizing that in the refrigerator. And now I am going to start some yogurt. We have just a couple of jars of milk left from this week's milk, and I'll be picking up more milk tomorrow. And so I decided to turn this last gallon into yogurt just because at the end of the week the milk starts to get a little bit sour and so it's really good to make that into yogurt rather than just drinking it plain. While I was in my refrigerator I also noticed that I needed to feed my sourdough starter and I'm just going to leave that out on the counter because I'll be using that sometime this week not really sure exactly with what but if i ever see that it needs to be fed i will feed it and set it out and then if i end up not needing it i can just put it back in the refrigerator but i end up using it multiple times a week and so it's always a good idea to have it fresh and fed and bubbly i am so excited to tell you guys about today's video sponsor ag1 AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. My husband and I have been adding the AG1 into our morning routine for several months now, and we both really like the way that it makes us feel, and we love the taste. It has a subtle fruit flavor from the naturally extracted essences from pineapple core and vanilla beans. AG1 never uses added sugar or artificial sweeteners, which is something that I really love. Every morning we mix a scoop of the AG1 with about eight ounces of water and then just shake it up and it's ready to go. I personally love adding some fresh lemon juice to it and some ice, but it is really delicious. Like I said, it has a really subtle fruit flavor, very refreshing and a great way to start off your morning. For optimal freshness, store your AG1 powder in the refrigerator. The ingredients in AG1 help support immune health. Every scoop of AG1 contains vitamins and minerals to support whole body health, including the gut, brain, and immune system. In every serving of AG1, you'll get essential vitamins and minerals, pre and probiotics, antioxidants, superfoods, and mushrooms, and digestive support. And the best part is that it's all sourced from whole foods. Vitamin D plays an essential role in our body's immune system. It is best in oil form. AG has a vitamin D3 K2 drop to work together with your daily AG1 routine. Adding a drop to your daily routine can give you so many benefits. If you are ready to try AG1, you can use the link down in my description box below, or you can scan my code that's here on the left corner of the screen. With my link or using my code, you will get 
a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. All right, so now I'm getting ready to put away all of my pantry items. As you guys saw, I got a bunch of ketchup and mustard, honey, maple syrup, some canned goods of like tomatoes and beans that I like to keep on hand. And so before putting that away, I am going to organize my pantry. I feel like our pantry is constantly getting unorganized. It's one of those things that I just have such a hard time keeping organized. And part of that is probably because there are lots of people in my house and a lot of people that are coming into the pantry and getting things and putting things away. Not that they're all to blame. I'm definitely not great at either, you know, when you're in a hurry, just kind of like throw things in. But getting this all in order feels so good. And I'll say that I still have it in order now and it's just so nice. I like, like putting things away because everything is so organized and straight. Sometimes I find that I just have to like go back and look at something and be like, what? okay, this is not working anymore and I can switch this around. So one of those things in this particular time of cleaning the pantry is I realized that all of our tea stuff did not fit in this little pink basket very well. So you'll see here in the beginning, I'm trying to like organize it in here. And eventually I actually remove the pink basket and I move all of the tea stuff to a bigger basket because we have a lot of different loose leaf tea and little containers to put the tea in. And it's working out much better in the bigger container. I'm also restocking some of our little canisters in here that I keep nuts in, rice, beans in. A lot of times, you know, things start to get empty. I just have open bags in there and it really clutters up the pantry. So this is a great way to kind of marry things together and save on space. And I am going to put all of the baking items here together. So like vanilla extract, cocoa powder, coconut oil, all of those types of things. My daughter loves to bake. She bakes something almost every day probably, but oftentimes, and so it's nice to keep everything all together for her. Now, moving on to this next shelf, speaking of my daughter, her and some friends were making, I can't even remember what it was, but they were using beet powder to make it pink and spilled it all over. And I kind of remember, like this was a while ago, telling her like, oh, make sure you guys clean that up. And clearly it never got cleaned up. And so I am now cleaning it up. It's inside of this like container here. Everything is pink. If you've ever done anything with beet powder, you know how messy it can be. So getting that all cleaned up and again, putting some open bags of sugar in the sugar container, some cornmeal in the cornmeal container, uh, powdered sugar, and then just labeling things again just to make it easier to have everything organized. And when you have lots of different people coming into the pantry, now everyone knows what is what, and it may stay organized a little longer this time. I also know that when I clean out the pantry, at least for me, I find things that I realized I did not have and that I need to start using. So in this case, I found some different loose leaf tea, some different nuts that I didn't know that I had. Um, you know, just things that I'm like, okay, this week I'm going to use these things up. And before I go and purchase anything else, these things have to be gone. So this white container here that I'm cleaning out is the one that I eventually switch over and put all the tea things in. It takes me a minute to realize that that's what needs to go in there, but eventually that becomes the 
new house for all of the loose leaf teas. I have red raspberry leaf teas. We have some like rose hip buds, lots of different rubos tea, just all kinds of stuff. And it fits much better in this spot. It makes it easy to pull out to see exactly what we have and to know what the options are when I go to make a tea. Sometimes it takes multiple tries to get something to be organized right and even you know a few days of trying something new and then realizing that's not the spot that you wanted to go in and moving it around but eventually you find what works best for you and another thing that I did when I was doing this little pantry refresh is I used to keep the pasta and like salsas and things here on the bottom shelf with the canned goods but now that my toddler can get in here, it doesn't make sense to have anything glass on the bottom. So I moved those up to the top shelf or, you know, to a shelf that he can't reach in and then only have things down low that if he gets into it, it will not break. I keep all of my like supplements and more snacky foods like chips and things up in the very top of my pantry. So I'm putting the chips up here. I got a bunch of organic tortilla chips that I'm going to use this week when I make nachos and tacos and just any different form of that for meals this week. After getting all of the groceries away, I'm just cleaning off the table. It got really messy with all of the different grocery bags on here. And then I decided that I wanted to make a new flower arrangement. Um, it's been so fun now that it's spring and we have a bunch of things blooming to switch out the centerpiece on the table. And I feel like the table just isn't complete without fresh, pretty flowers now. But you know, that's just another, not really job, it's fun, but still like something else that you have to do because flowers don't last forever. So every few days I'm going out and, you know, just picking some new things. And currently we have so many blooms on our trees. They're all so beautiful. That just really makes the flower arrangement so much prettier with the different blooms even on the trees. This makes me so excited for summer whenever we can have even more colors and more blooms and different varieties of flowers. I mean, man, this is just, it's so fun. It's one of my favorite things about spring and summer is the fresh flowers that I can have all over the house. And this is just the beginning and look how beautiful it already is. So to think about more pops of colors and different variations of flowers makes me so excited. All right, so the next thing on my list today is making some taper candles. I love candles and I find that making my own is just so fun. And I love that they're made with just beeswax and or soy wax, depending on which one I am making. 
Now you can see during this clip my baby woke up from his nap so I had to work fast to get these done. Now I have made dipped candles before and I actually have the um, recipe for the dipped candles on my blog and they turned out beautiful and I love them but they're much harder to make but because I love burning taper candles. I have a candle holder on my mantle that holds six candles. It can be a lot of work to keep up with the dipped candles. So I actually ended up buying a mold that makes it very, very easy to make these candles. So I have this recipe as well on my blog if you want the printable recipe and also links to these molds. They're very inexpensive and I found them on Amazon and it makes making these types of candles extremely easy. So if you love to um, burn candles and you wanna make your own, you can scent them if you want to, you can leave them plain, you can add in colors or again, leave them plain. I love just the plain color of beeswax. So it's kind of fun to be able to customize them on your own. So while my candles are drying, I am coming back to my yogurt. I also have this recipe on my blog. So just go to arleyhouse.com and you can search yogurt and it will pop up. Um, same with like the candles or any recipes that I share. If you go to our really house and then at the top there's a search bar and you can put in yogurt, soap, candles, whatever it is that I'm making to get the printable recipe. All right, this is actually the next day and I am taking my candles out of their mold. They are finished and clipping the wick and just showing you how pretty they look. I just absolutely love the way that they turned out. Now I'm working on a very, very fun recipe. And this was actually, I was testing it for the blog. We absolutely loved it and I cannot wait to make it again. In fact, I have enough to remake this recipe and I'm gonna let my daughter do it because I know that she would love it. Probably have over some of my nieces too. It is a whipped hand soap. And so it's very simple to make. And I have the recipe for this also on my blog. It is so fun. And all of my kids love it, so I have it in the main bathroom right off our kitchen, and they're all like so excited every time to like wash their hands because of this whip soap. Now, I made it with some lavender and lemon essential oil to scent it, and then I turned it purple. Again, it's so fun to make your own skincare products or candles or things like this because you get to pick exactly how you want to do it. If you want it to be you know, scent free or whatever scent you want or if you want colors on it. So on this particular one, I'm trying to think of like a real springy soap to make and that's why I did the lavender and lemon and then adding in the purple color. Now the super fun part about this is piping it into the container and it's kind of like, you know, like icing on a cake, but I felt like it just turned out so cute. You just put a little bit on your hand and it foams up really well. And so again, this recipe is on my blog. If you have any interest in trying a whipped hand soap, like I said, it would be such a fun little project to do with little girls. And so anyway, that's what I'm excited to do next time is have my nieces over and let my daughter and then make some of this whipped hand soap.
tonight for dinner, I am making my tacos that I have been talking about. And so I'm first just getting my meat going and then I'm going to dice up a bunch of things. So for this, I'm gonna do some green onion, cilantro, lettuce, tomatoes. I'm gonna to make some guacamole. I have some fresh jalapenos. I have lime and some cheese to shred. This is my favorite meal. I always tell my family, if you guys are gonna get sick of this, this is what I would make for like every single meal. I would have some sort of like taco bowl or nachos or taco salad, just all the different variations of this, the fresh ingredients. It's just so delicious, so many flavors, and it's so easy to make. I am so looking forward to having fresh tomatoes and cilantro and jalapenos in my garden this summer. Those are my favorite things to grow. They are so easy and they're things that we use all the time. And so all summer long, I love to have like fresh pico de gallo and eat this type of meal. And so it's, you know, it's nice that we have grocery stores and we can get it even when it's out of season for us. but. It'll be really exciting when we can just go outside and get the ingredients that we need to whip up this delicious meal. I always prefer shredding my own cheese rather than buying like pre-shredded cheese. I'm a big cheese fan and I like really sharp cheese and I feel like the like more, I don't know, like when it's already shredded it just has a more processed taste and it doesn't taste as fresh or sharp and so anytime I can I like to shred it myself. For my taco meat, I always just add in my own spices rather than using like a taco packet. And so for that, I do salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and chili powder. And I don't really measure it. It kind of depends on how much meat I'm doing. So on this particular day, I'm doing two pounds of ground beef. So it's probably about a teaspoon or so of each. But like I said, I don't really measure it. And the best part of any taco salad nachos is fresh guacamole. Um, for my guacamole, I just like to do avocado, lime juice, fresh cilantro, tomatoes, and then I add in some salt and cumin and a little bit of garlic powder. As you saw there when I went to pour the cumin, I was basically out of it, so not much cumin made it into this guacamole, but typically, those are the ingredients that I like to use to make guacamole and then just mash it all up. So delicious. It's a great way to get your kiddos to eat avocados if they don't love them. I don't know. I feel like they'll always eat it if I have it in guacamole. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for watching if you're new here please hit that subscribe button i get out a new video every single week where i share different recipes and things that i'm doing in my home this week